So this is a solution to quiz one from unit five. If you haven't tried it yet, I'd recommend trying it on your own first before watching this solution. So we have a train, and this train travels to the moon. And um, the moon's distance from us on Earth is 1.3 light seconds. So that's how far the train travels. The time it takes the train to make this lunar journey is 260 seconds. So this is a coordinate um, spatial difference and a coordinate time difference. So we can then measure the velocity, it's delta x, or calculate the velocity. 1.3 seconds over 260 seconds. And let's see, 1.3 divided by 260, I get 0 0.005. 0.005. So the train is going at this fraction of the speed of light, so 0.5% of the speed of light. This is a really fast train. All right, so the second part of the question is asking us to look at um, how long the train trip takes from the point of view of a clock on the train. So that would be a proper time. It actually put, might be the space-time interval um, if it goes in a straight line which presumably it would, um, but in any event, let's use the proper time formula to um, figure out the time interval from the train's point of view. So we've got delta tau, 1 minus v squared square root delta t. Um, all right, so del we know everything on the right-hand side. So we can plug in 1 minus v squared. That's 0 0.005 squared. This whole thing is square rooted. And then I need to multiply by the time interval, which was this 260 seconds. So this, as you might have found when you um, did the quiz, requires keeping a lot of digits on your calculator. So 0 0.005 squared is very close, well 0 0.005, super close to, to zero. Square it, you get closer to zero still. One minus something that's very close to zero is very close to one, 0 0.999 something. Square root that, and then multiply by 260. So that's something my calculator can kind of barely handle. Um, so let's see, I'll do it this way. 1 minus 0 0.005 squared. That's 0 0.000025. So 1 minus this thing squared is 0 0.999975. That's really close to 1. Then I square root 0 0.999875, even closer to 1. And then the last step I need to multiply this by 260 seconds. And I get this number, 259.99675 seconds. So, as expected, um, just make it clear that this is a proper time. Proper time is a little um, a little smaller than the um, coordinate time, but by a tiny, tiny amount. Um, so that's the uh, these are the numbers um, that I got for doing that quiz. Notice though that these numbers 0.9999 blah 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 are pretty awkward to work with and may even overwhelm a calculator. And um, it might be nice if there's some way, kind of some easier way that we can handle square rooting numbers that are very, very, very close to one. Uh, and the answer that there is that there is, and that's what we'll cover in the next video where we'll learn about a thing called the binomial approximation.